Aloha, Hawaii Prepper. Let me share with you just a couple things that I do stock up on preparedness wise. Um, most of this is uh, food items. And perhaps you might be able to find some of these items in your Asian stores. Um, I have a couple other things to show here, but this is the main tuna brand that I purchase. I do have this brand here as well. I use this for sandwiches. Um, so this particular one I use in salads or over pasta. So you can more or less do anything and everything with tuna, but this is a high quality tuna and it's by Wild Planet. It's albacore wild tuna, sustainably pole and line caught, 100% pure tuna and sea salt. So where you can find this particular brand would be at your Walmart and or online. Walmart has these all in the tuna section and nobody's touching them. Reason being that no one is touching these is because they are very expensive. In my Walmart, these are a dollar, um, not a dollar, excuse me. These are $5 and some odd cents. These have gone up from $4 last time I checked and this was like months and months ago and I've seen the prices go higher and higher. Um, but yeah, um, I do spend a lot on this particular brand because I love it. My husband loves it and it's way better than any other brand there is out there. I do get that we prep according to our budgets. And so um, if you can find cheaper food items, you know, yeah, pick them up. But you know, I have a combination. And so this is the high end tuna for for me that i prep so i don't buy a lot one time but i do a little at a time but this is the number one brand in tuna if you look this up you'll find a whole list of tunas from the worst to the best and this is number one out of all the tunas so i love it and i put this over salads and my husband really loves this now on the opposite side of the can you will find the best buy date here and it's a peel back um, can so everything in this can is really yummy so this is what it looks like in here and the tuna is is so good you can tell the quality um, the flavor and the taste of it and so i put it into a regular toss salad and you know you can toss in whatever you want in your salad so these are the tuna chunks here i put some tofu some corn and lettuce this is how my husband likes his salad he doesn't like a lot of stuff in there um, like me I like a ton of different things I like my salads to be colorful um, but this is how I make his salad with this particular brand wild planet tuna now this here is a, another type of ramen type of noodle soba there's so much different types of uh, uh, noodles, Japanese type of noodles, and I happen to like a lot of them. And this is one that I also stock up on from my Asian stores here. Um, I would really suggest trying these out. They're really, really good. This is buckwheat. It's made out of buckwheat and it's noodle. And what you do is, like they come in, they come, together there's bunches like this they're all dried and so you just put this into boiling water you put the whole thing you take this um, strip of paper off and then you put it into boiling water for let's see the instructions are on the back here so you put one bundle 
where is it so it says here one bundle for one serving it's quite a lot uh, just to let you know um, it may not look like much but it's a lot so one bundle in about five cups of water and you boil the water and you cook it about six to seven minutes then you rinse it in cold water and you drain it well and you can serve it with the soba dipping sauce so the dipping sauce that i use is this dipping sauce if you can find this in your area wherever you may be um, there's quite a lot of different soba sauces the soup base you can use this in a lot of your ramen noodle mixes as well you can do it cold and or you can do a hot soup base mix for the sobas you can also use this straight from the bottle or you can dilute it a lot of people dilute this because it is very strong um, but i like to use this one straight and it says straight so i can use it straight up here so this is what the soba noodle looks like when you go into your japanese restaurants and you order something like this so this is how it turns out after you you make it and you can put basically whatever you want on top of it i put a variety of things i put a seaweed mix here it's seaweed rice seasoning you can use this for your rice as well but I put this on quite a lot of things and it adds extra flavor. It just adds that extra pop to your meal, which I really love. And this is furikake. Um, you can put this in salads, in your ramen, whatever you want. It has quite a lot of flavor and punch in these. And there's so many different um seasonings in this particular brand so if you do have an asian store please go and check out everything in that asian store because a lot of these things you can use uh, on a multi-purpose level in making whatever you want so this is the soba that i have already made um, and i added tofu in here as well i love to put tofu in basically everything and anything and then i put the seasoning on the top here but like i said you can add whatever you want in the soba noodles these are buckwheat noodles so these are super healthy for you um, do look for them um, if you do have them in your location and to go with the soba would be the straight soba sauce. You could either make a bowl of the soba sauce and such as this and sprinkle just a little at a time. Or you could use your chopstick and you could dip some of the noodles in that bowl and eat it that way. Whichever way suits you. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what i'm actually having for lunch actually today me and my husband uh, so thanks guys for watching thank you so much for subscribing um hope you have a wonderful day and continue to prep and don't forget to feed yourself along the way aloha